Hey guys, what is up? Welcome or welcome back. In the next clip, I'm gonna be traveling back to school. We're heading back and I'm very excited to head back for my last few weeks. Yeah guys, we are heading into the last three weeks of the semester. I finished classes, well, technically I finished classes in three weeks and then I have a few finals during finals week, but they're like projects and more like research papers, so I don't really have any like actual tests. Let's just get into the video. We're gonna head back to school. We are flying back and um, usually only takes like four or five hours to get there because I do a connecting flight and it's like pretty easy. Good morning, it is the next day and I am back in my apartment. It is a mess. I wanted today's vlog to really just be getting everything in order, getting back to life. I am going to do my five minute journal before I do anything else because I have been in a very bad habit of not filling it out. I haven't filled it out in literally a month, which is horrible. And I notice such a difference in just my overall well-being when I actually take literally five minutes of journal in the morning and the night. It literally just helps my everything, but really just helps me be more present, helps my anxiety, just literally everything. Today's quote of the day, who looks outside dreams, who looks inside awakes. That's, that's very deep. Okay. <laughs> that was, that's a little bit too much to digest on this Sunday morning. I'm going to fill this out quickly. I'm also making a TikTok because I've not made a TikTok in a while. And if you want to follow me, I think my username is Kayla Marie videos. I also kind of want to take a bath so that I could read, which just sounds weird, but I just started this book a couple of nights ago and guys, I'm literally not a reader at all, but I actually really, really like this. It's literally so good and I'm not really a big reader. So if you guys are not a huge fan of reading <laughs> like me and you're trying to like get back into it, I highly suggest this book. I'll have to check out more by her, but we're going to do this and then I'll probably just read a little in the bath to like decompress. I need to just take some time to do some like mental, just just get my, my life together, so. It's like 11 o'clock right now and I am thinking of first going to get Irving's downtown or Bagel Crest. If you guys are like visiting Penn State, if you're a student here and like haven't even been, you should go to Irving's and Bagel Crest. Keeping the look very simple today. I am literally in all sweats. I don't even care. We're not doing makeup today, but I did put on SPF because I've been so bad at it guys, but I just mixed this. It's the Drunk Elephant SPF 30 and then I always wear the Deep Bronzy Anti-Pollution Sunshine Drops and I'm, I'm just like mixing these together making a little concoction and it actually gives my face like a nice glow. I'm, I'm impressed. It kind of like gives a little bit of coverage. So that's that's really cool. I haven't even made my bed yet but I'm thinking I'm gonna like make my bed clean once I get back from getting coffee. Um, clearly my brain cannot really do anything without coffee in the morning. It's a really bad um, trait of mine. That's my toxic trait. Without coffee, I'm just a miserable person. And you know what? It's okay. All right, it is later now. I just showered and I feel so much better. I just feel like I don't, I'm always a night shower person, but for some reason on Sundays, I like to take like a morning or a midday shower because it's just Sunday. I feel like I need to like freshen up, you know? I'm gonna put a little bit of this in my hair to get the curls going. So yeah, I think that I would also take this time just to like fill you guys in on some updates i need to get better about just like talking to the camera like more relaxed and like having like these unedited segments just so that we could like actually talk and i feel like builds more of a you know it just it just take this as like listening to a podcast when i'm gonna have these little sit down segments in vlogs to come yeah as you guys heard earlier in the video i was home for a few weeks and then i went to go see jacob and it was just it was so nice but something else really exciting that i did the past couple of weeks um two weeks ago now i went to a 
virtual visit for my, well, for like literally like my number one program for grad school and it was incredible and it's starting to make things really real um like going to things like that and it's making me very excited the program is half in the actually i haven't even said what the program is first of all the program is getting a master's in healthcare management that's the goal um because obviously well not obviously if you guys don't know I am a HDFS major here at Penn State, which is Human Development and Family Studies in the Health and Human Development program, college, whatever. I have officially decided to apply to this program and I'm gonna be applying to that in just a few months, which is literally insane. I think I've mentioned the program before in like a chit chat at Reading with me or something, but the program is actually not at Penn State, which is so sad that I'm going to be leaving Penn State for my masters but i feel like i had a great i am having a great undergrad time at penn state but i am just not totally in love with any of the grad school programs here the program is at indiana university which is i'm wearing indiana whatever um it's another big 10 school so i feel like a little bit of a traitor if i go to that program but it's I don't know it's crazy it's just it made things a lot more surreal we went to like a sample class we got to talk to like the program director panels on like scholarships fellowships career stuff it just it was so weird it made things just so much more real that in a year I will be heading out of here and hopefully heading there so that's like my number one choice right now obviously i like want to really keep you guys updated in this whole process because i feel like i'm bringing you along with me with this process too when i was applying to colleges i was not like filming on youtube and like taking you guys along during that process so this process will be a whole new thing but i'm so excited i would be starting there like if i got into the program i would be starting there literally like a few weeks after i graduate here getting to be the time of the Sunday after what what, what is that sentence it is about time to take out my planners and get organized for what's to come this week I do this on Mondays honestly too sometimes but I also have homework to finish tonight and I need to like organize what needs to get done I always have my planners linked below but this first guy is my main planner and it is by doing well daily but it's there collaboration with um Danielle Carolyn she like designed the planner this is more of like my daily thing like I'll fill it out in the morning so I probably won't fill that out right now actually the main thing that I need to do that I really try to prioritize doing on Sunday nights is putting together the list of what is to come this week with my knock knock pad these you can get on like Amazon I don't know I got this at the container store because I like their like stationary stuff what I'm gonna do is just go through and write all the due dates so I just open up canvas and look at what's to come for the week write that down there and then sometimes on Sunday nights I'll like pre put together like what is going on tomorrow for Monday but I think I'm gonna do that Monday morning instead because I'm vlogging tomorrow so I want to like have some content for that i start class tomorrow bright and early at 8 a.m so yeah it's probably a good idea that i'm writing all this down now so i can be aware of what's to come because it's gonna be busy i just have this one assignment due tonight for my business comm class which i actually really like this class it's interesting and i feel like it is very applicable to every major honestly but it's business comm and for this project that's due tonight we have to make a um website and put like our resume on there i've always wanted to have like a little website just to have like a more unique resume whatever to offer this is like gonna be fun it's a good project all the things that we're doing in this class are like resume job building preparing for interviews it's very like real world stuff pretty much just juniors and seniors in this class i feel like but it's very easy i am putting together the main page of it we have Kayla Mashad, class of 22. This is just like all a template, but I'm gonna write things down and then 
had some type of logo. I don't even know. I don't know. I may just focus on keeping it very simple. It's literally for a class. It's not anything too fancy. Happy Wednesday. We're skipping ahead a little bit. I'm listening to the rest of the Call Her Daddy episode that came out last night with Mads, uh, Mads Lewis. She is like a TikTok influencer. I'm listening to the rest of this episode so good, but in just a few minutes, I'm logging on to my discussion group. So we have to go do that. All right, I have my makeup literally halfway done. So excuse the fact that I look so strange right now. I just have my... Um, what is it called? Not foundation, CC cream on. I talk about this so much, but a cosmetic CC cream, if you want coverage, SPF, but don't want to wear foundation, it is amazing. It is now 11 o'clock, 11 something, I don't know. Today I definitely have kind of a lot of work. To, actually, no, I don't really have too much work to do. It's a very light week because I had, I already had a test this week and then I feel like I had like a huge essay project god knows what last week so i'm going to walk over to target or cbs i think um and get some toiletries and stuff that i'm out of and maybe i'm gonna go get a second coffee of the morning because i'm kind of feeling that i thought about doing work in the library today too but it is so gloomy and rainy that literally everyone and their mother is going to be inside the library or the hub I was about to say that I cannot wait for the weather to get nice here and just have some like days outside on the weekend and just like a really fun time. But I remembered that there's literally like three weeks left for the semester and then I'll be home for a little bit. So that's really sad. It's coming to an end too fast. I just had a really large paper just graded for a class. I'm shaking, I'm so nervous. Oh my god. Holy shit. Okay, I got 96 in the paper. Oh my god. I am so relieved. I was so scared writing that paper. It was a controversy paper and we had to write about our stance on if antidepressants should have black box warnings, which is like a hard thing to write about because it's very controversial in the mental health field. But anyways, I got a 96 <laughs> and the points that I got off were for spelling errors, which like, you know what? I'll take it. That's okay. I'm so relieved. I was so scared to open that. Okay, we're good. All right, so now we're 2,000% oh, getting a coffee to go celebrate. I'm also gonna treat myself because today is actually Jacob and I's four year anniversary and it's so sad. We've literally never been together on our, did I just say birthday? I can't remember if I said birthday or anniversary. It's our anniversary. You know when you like think you said something but you can't remember? Okay. Yeah, so I'm treating myself today because we have never been together on our anniversary before, but we were literally just together like two weeks ago for like two weeks, which is very unlikely in the middle of the school year, so. are back and as you may be able to tell it is actually starting to get sunny outside which is awesome finally it's like it's, I mean it's still like partly cloudy but like whatever and I get some like random things at CVS so I got new Glade plugins because I'm still using my fall ones and I hate the fact that my room still smells like pumpkins and apple harvest so we got those I am currently out of my purple shampoo and I go to the hair salon in two weeks I like to get my products through them just because it's like very convenient 
I like to support them too. So just to hold me over until then, I got an Aussie purple shampoo. I feel like Aussie maybe isn't the best. Usually I use Amica or Pureology, which are definitely like so much more expensive than this, but I was like, we're just gonna try it out to hold me over for a few weeks. I also have to get a new wet brush because mine is disgusting and it's like starting to fall apart. So we got a new brush. Also had to get some razors and then I got this new thing that I've seen on TikTok that people like and they're by Flamingo and they're waxing strips. I think that they're like mostly for your legs. I think that's what I'm gonna try them on just because in the summer, you know, the warm weather, it's a pain in the ass to be shaving your legs like every day. So we're gonna try this and hopefully, hopefully they're okay. They look pretty long. Usually Wednesdays are one of my busy days because I have, usually I have work for business comm due today and another class. And I just learned that I have an assignment tonight where I have to watch a movie and like watch, not watch, I have to do questions like in response to it. So that's not going to be fun. You guys already know, doing well daily, planner, collaboration with Daniel Carolyn, best planner. So I just already like made a list of some other things that I have to get done today. I have three assignments. I also was planning on uploading today, but I did not like the video <laughs> at all without... I, I just wanted to film like today and like get more content in it and make it longer. You have to edit that and then put together a thumbnail. But went to CVS, I can cross that off. Just a few little assignments for business comm, so. I realized I never showed you guys my website that I ended up finishing the other night. I'm so, so happy with how it turned out. It's pretty much just like a little biography about myself. And I had to put like my resume. I just put like some YouTube volunteer experiences, um, work, that kind of stuff. It was literally like my LinkedIn just in a website form. And then I put together three articles that I've been working on in classes. And I'm really excited with how they turned out. I wanted to like kind of talk about, the, not the research that I've done, but just like an analysis of the research that I've like been into with classes. I feel like when you search my name, it's like YouTube and social media stuff, but I wanted some like academic things mixed in, mixed in there too, because obviously that's super important. So this is my favorite article. That's the paper that I was talking to you guys about earlier, about black box warnings on antidepressants. So that was that. It was for a class project, but I'm very, very happy with how it came out. Again, this was for my business comm class, and I highly suggest, even if you're not a business major, whatever, you should definitely take a class like this. No matter what school you go to, I'm sure they have it everywhere. At Penn State, it's called English 202D, and I really, really liked it. We did stuff about, like, how to prepare for an interview, like resume workshops, other types of, like, professional career development it was much needed and i just look look out for it at whatever school you go to i also wanted to talk about scheduling classes and stuff because in two days i'm scheduling classes for the last time literally ever because i'm not doing any classes in the spring besides my whatever my internship I'm logging on to schedule builder if you're coming to penn state this is how you will Schedule your classes. Obviously, it's like through Lion Path, but Schedule Builder is a way to like map out what you want to take and see what openings there are. You can like put in if you want like a break in the morning. I say that I don't want to start until 10 a.m. <laughs> just to avoid 8 a.m.s. Um, have to be in one this semester. It's my one and only 8 a.m. I only have a few more classes to take of the 400 level HDFS classes. But also this is for, what is this for? This is for my health and wellness credit, whatever, but I felt like it'd be like appropriate for like what grad program I'm applying into. When I went to the virtual open house visit thing, there was a girl in my group that is a student at IU and she's also an HDFS major, which is human development and family studies. And that made me literally so happy because I literally feel like I rarely hear anyone that has my same major and I literally didn't even know my major existed until I came here and like took a class in it. I've also learned like talking to you guys and like DMs and comments that you guys have the same major as me too. Like someone from Maryland, Yukon, someone in Texas, which is so cool because I feel like 
this major isn't widespread enough yet and if you're looking to do what I am like interested in look at HDFS because it's amazing it's really just learning about humans and health but like indirect care of health because you could really take whatever approach you want you could take like all classes about disabilities you could take all classes about family studies you could take all businessy health classes highly suggest it because it's it's a fun time and i really like it I'm very excited because I just put in a little Aritzia order. I got a few tank tops and then a few sweat shorts just because the weather is going to start getting warm and I have literally like one pair of shorts that fit me. So honestly, for the quality of Aritzia clothing, the prices are incredible. Like these TNA brand sweat shorts, I have the sweatshirt version and it's definitely pricey, but it does not pill it still feels brand new which is awesome but so I got two of those TNA um, sweat shorts and then I got three of the honor tanks because I've heard really great things about them I think that's a really flattering neckline so I'm excited about that I'm also catching up on some vlogs I'm watching Callie's video right now um, from the weekend I just she's like my favorite up-and-coming creator even though I've been following her on TikTok for like quite a few months now but her youtube channel is like kind of relatively new and i'm obsessed i'm happy because i just scheduled my first vaccine because i'm finally eligible um i'm literally getting it tomorrow but bad news while i was scheduling my appointment um i obviously can't show the full thing but i quite literally this is my license it is quite literally in half i don't know how but it's gone. I got out my five minute journal. I was ready to do my nightly journal. It's 11 o'clock, relax, but, oh my gosh, guys. You guys saw earlier, I was listening to the Call Her Daddy episode with Mads Lewis, and now we're listening to BFF's podcast because they're doing like an emergency pod over these two. Okay, the I'm, I'm still not sure what's happening. It's like TikTok relationship love drama but i'm invested and i want to know what's happening and i know that it's probably so immature but you know what this is my entertainment and this podcast is so funny is anyone else invested in this when they definitely shouldn't be like i don't even see these people on my tiktok for you page because my tiktok page is not like dancers and like hype house people if they're even hype house i don't even know i had red lobster for dinner and I'm currently going through what I think is food poisoning. Um, me and Jacob had our anniversary dinner over FaceTime and we both got red lobster. And I got food poisoning. So chugging the water, prepping for the vaccine tomorrow. But but anyways, I'm gonna end up the video here. So thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time. Hey.